Hello everyone, today's video is how to start your business. Not how to grow your business, just how to start your business. Um, I actually started mine really loosely. I did it for fun, so I mean it was pretty easy for me, but for anyone who wants to start a business, here are just some tips. Um, I'll just start right away, I don't want to have a long intro, so your first Thing. And remember, this is how to start your business, not how to grow. I'll put that into a separate um, video because you want to get these down before you try and grow your business. So the first one is you have to pick a category. Is it something that people want or something people will need or whatever? Is it handmade? Is it not? It's You have to figure out what you want to sell and do a little research in it. Um, I do hair accessories and hair bows. I actually got into it by default because I've always been crafty and my aunt just asked me to make a few and then I was like, okay, I'll kind of make it a business. But if you want to have a, start a business and you don't know where to start, definitely... You want to research what exactly you want to sell and what industry, not industry, but what like business you want to sell. Because you don't want to sell like balloon chairs. I don't know. I just made that up. And if no one's going to buy a balloon chair or no one needs a balloon chair, no one's going to buy it. So why would you try and make a whole business out of it? If it, It's going to be really hard to find customers or potential customers. That's just one of them. Um, number two, you're going to have to have money to invest in your business. Now, I mean, I'm young, I'm 19, so it's not like I was investing $500,000 into my business. Um, when I started, I maybe invested like 300 and it was a gradual, it, uh, it was a gradual investment. And, um, but by now I have my business for about four and a half years, but I easily probably invested like couple thousand in it now um actually like more than that but you definitely you have to expect to invest and if you want i mean if you're trying to open up a storefront you're definitely gonna need a lot more than four hundred dollars to invest so um that's another thing is you're gonna need the money set aside to invest um you need the time that was a big thing is I when I decided that I was gonna have my business I think I gave myself about three months to buy and make the stuff before I started selling because um, you don't want to start advertising that you're selling something or start selling something and you don't have product you want to open your business and have plenty of things there for them to buy um, I don't remember what number that was I think that was only three, maybe two, I don't know. Um, another one is you just really, I wouldn't say you have to be serious about it, but you have to like, you have to invest your time into it. Like apart from making the items, you just have to put time into advertising and just like, and it's hard to explain, like everything that goes along with the business, like you have, you have to be invested like you you have to have a passion for it like um i enjoy making hair accessories i make i love making bows but say if um see like to me that's not a job because yeah, i love it i love selling them but say if i was gonna go into the business for making like car cushions i wouldn't enjoy that so i wouldn't not take it seriously but i probably wouldn't care as much because i didn't I would be miserable doing it. So you want to find something that you're not miserable doing. And um, that's just, I feel like that's one of the bigger things is you have to find something that you enjoy. You don't want to just go into something that you're like, oh my God, so many people are making these and selling these right now. I'll make them too. If you're not enjoying yourself, don't do it because it is going to be long. It is going to be a long process. Um, I started making dresses and I didn't enjoy myself whatsoever making the dresses. So um, I stopped making them. Yes, uh, they were really popular, but I was miserable making them and I couldn't do it because I wasn't having fun. I didn't want to do it at all. I didn't want to start. I was just miserable. So I stopped making them because I didn't have fun making them. Whereas I have fun making the hair bows and whatnot. So you definitely have to... Research, you have to research. I think that's 
another big thing is you have to research what you want to do and what you have to do to open your business in that um, area. So for me, I make hair bows, as I've said before. So um, I just did a little research in where I could advertise or um, what the new like style bow is. You always have to, you have to keep up with what is going on. And that's like a big thing is once you start your business, like society's always changing. So your business has to adapt to it. It doesn't matter. Like you can't sell, I mean, I guess you could, but to sell the same product for 20 years and you didn't change anything, like that's going to be hard because you're not adapting to society's changes and society's new trends. Um, I'm always adding new bows based on what the little fads are so you really have to like keep up and that's part of investing your time is you have to look up what's new or what's like up and coming I guess um I'm trying to think of what else to add it's just there's starting your business I feel like I have more tips for growing your business and starting um those were my main tips for starting the business um, I didn't want to put starting your business and growing your business in the same video because I knew it would be too long. I tried filming that before this and I was at like 20 minutes. So, yeah. So, um, that, like, that's really it. You have to invest your time. You have to make inventory before you start selling. Um, then you want to start advertising. You don't want to open your business and then advertise. You want to advertise before you start selling. Um, so that's an investing time. Um, that's, I don't really, that's just it. I'm sorry this video was kind of all over the place, but that's how I think. I know my, my video before this was a little more organized, but, um, I feel like, oh, like starting a business and growing a business are both important, but to me, I focus more on growing my business. I didn't put too much effort into starting my business. I have all my effort into growing my business, so... That video will be a little easier for me because I have gotten questions about starting my business, but I didn't know I wanted to start a business when I started, if that made sense. Um, I feel like I'll do a video on the history of my of my shop. Um, Cause I get a lot of questions because I am 19. So I started when I was 15. I get a lot of people asking me like, how'd you know? I didn't know. This was only supposed to be a part-time job until I found something and so that's why starting the business I find harder because I really can't tell you like tips on how to start based on my experience because I just started. I had no intentions of um, having a shop. I had zero intention of having and keeping a shop. So it kind of came to my surprise. 